Hello and welcome to another free tutorial from Kev Hall. These are quick, nasty, nasty and dirty. A uh, little talking, more action. So let's begin. First thing that you need to understand is that um, there's going to be a few things that's going to be going on. I have a control panel here down at the bottom in my URL. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing that you notice here is there's an active activate my URL. When you open it up and go to Microsoft Bing, it asks for a question and it says, do you want to open Microsoft Bing? And you say yes, and voila, you open up a URL based on what you select inside a combo box. So in this tutorial here, I'm going to show you quickly how you can make a combo box open up URL. So let's begin the process. First thing that I'd recommend is doing Alt-11. Alt-11 automatically opens up the code so you can see it. This is also going to be in the uh, description link area where you can cut and paste it and use it at your discretion. Um, just for the sake of time here, I'm going to break down some of this so that it will make sense to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wipe away, I'm going to wipe away um, some of the code and, and then bring it back so you can understand what's actually transpiring here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe away this line of code. I'm going to take that out and drop that there. Also, to let you um, have an understanding here, the reason why the resolution looks the way it does is because I'm, I've ha I have it set at um, 124 by 568, which gives you a better um, viewing experience. So please share your feedback as to if you like it and if you want me to continue in that resolution. So the first thing here that we're going to look at in the code, and, and I'm moving quickly here so that we can get this out of the way, uh, is you got the uh, combo box one change. Combo box one change is here. This is where your combo box is named. Uh, when you click on combo box, and I'm moving fairly quickly here, it's going to open up a blank uh, area and there's not going to be anything in there. The only thing that's going to be in there is this when you open it up. <clears throat> and the first thing that you have to do in order to make this code uh, work successfully is I like to use DIM. DIM allows you to create values and, and uh, put values and strings together to uh, simplify your code and, and make it more uh, function more effectively. So the first thing here is we got DIM WS as a worksheet. What that does is that creates a function which is called set worksheet equal worksheet my URL. What that is is let's scroll down so you can see it. My URL is located right here, my URL. So this is where I'm keeping all my, 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 my search engine name and the URL, okay? Let's scroll back to the top and let's get back to the code. So my URL, is that's what it's called. So I, I created a dim or created a value where it holds it so I don't have to keep typing out the whole sheet name every time when I'm writing the code. So that's what that does when you say set the value. So now we're going to go to the, the, the core of the code here. If combo box one, which is here, uh, equal my URL range A4, and just show you where A4 is. This is column A, and this is the fourth row. And then you got column B, and that's the fourth row, which opens up the website. Um, if combo box one equal my URL dot range, which is this, I just shorten it. To an acronym and call it WS A4. Then active workbook dot follow hyperlink address colon equal worksheet dot range B4 comma underscore new window equal false. And if what that does is that allows uh, the program to look for the name, connect the name with the URL. So we're going to clear this and write it. Okay, so you can see what's happening. If combo box uh, one uh, value equal um, ws, see that, and when you want when you do wx, it automatically you know that there is a worksheet, or there's something set to that, and then you type in range equal uh, a4. Close it out. Then says, if the combo box sees this name, which is in, in, in uh, let me go to my URLs, 
and then we open this back up again. So if the combo box sees in A, column A, row 4, if it sees the name My Microsoft Bing, then what it wants, what, what do you want it to do? So here we'll say active workbook <coughs> dot follow hyperlink. Okay, so you want the active workbook to follow the hyperlink. And um, at this point, <coughs> excuse me, at this point here, um, for the sake of time here, let me just um, tell you what's going to happen. Um, once you follow the hyperlink, the next thing that you want to do is you want to type an address because what is it following? If you notice down at the bottom, it kind of tells you the different things that you can do. So, you know, address is a string, sub address, new window, add history, blah, blah, blah. You can add any of that stuff that you want. In this case here, I just want it to look for the address. And so when I, when I tell it to go look for the address, how does it know to find the address? You have to close the address with a colon and then say equal. Now, we're going to go to work. Uh, the, the my URL which is this that's all that is this is, has set the value and this is the worksheet that it's looking for so every time when you see me type a WS that's what it's looking for okay and we're gonna type in range and we're gonna say uh, you know you put your colon in there say B4 and you close it out uh, do a comma on the score and pretty much visual basic kind of walk you through things it shows you how to write the codes okay <clears throat> all the underscore does is I can write the whole code out all the way across but that would just you know make my code hard to scroll left and right so when you do the underscore all the underscore is doing is a it's allowing you to drop your code down to the next to the next um I'm sorry you got to do a space between here to the next what am I doing wrong here? Active workbook follow da 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 da, da range. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I, what I'm missing here. Um, okay, I did do a comma. So comma underscore. There it is. You got to. I tell you, this stuff here is so sensitive. You got to do a space away from the um, parentheses and then. Then you got to do another space and do underscore, right? And all that does is it lets your code drop. It collapses your code down where you don't have to write it all the way across. You know, I could write the whole code from here all the way to where you can't see it on the screen. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then you type in, um, you type in new window. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> new window. Um, colon, and then you say false or true. Wait, hold on. What am I doing wrong here? Okay. Uh, new window colon equal false, and then you go ahead and you uh, end if end if. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now the code is actually active and ready to in operation. So let's do the the play. Microsoft Bing. Bam, it opens up your URL, Microsoft Bing. Okay, now let's go back to the code again, and I'm about to end this tutorial fairly quickly. Um, I've, I've showed you how, and the end if just means that when you do the next one, like for example, if I wanted to do, I can just come and copy and paste this whole thing, and if I wanted it to pick up Yahoo!, I just come here to copy and I, I go down to the next row and paste it and this time I just wanted to look at the value in A1 and then I wanted to look at the value in B1 which that would be Yahoo so now when I run it again if I if I run the code again um, and go to Yahoo it sees the value there and it opens up Yahoo so that's all that is when you do the end if the end if says end this operation look to the next operation if it's there then make it work okay so that's all it is now the last piece of this I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in here so you can um, 
uh, see how this works. Um, uh, where is it at? Okay. Let me get. Let me just copy and paste this line of code here, so I can explain to you what this is doing. All right. If I come back in here and drop this code in here, just down below the row. This dim here says message box style title response my string. These are going to all hold value. The message is do you want to open up the combo box and the name of the combo box, whatever is in there. String is the, the yes, no, cancel. Title is what comes on the uh, message box. So all of this is pertaining to the message box. The response is make it visible. Uh, when you click on the link, make this visible. They, you want to see the message, the style, and the title. And the if response is, if you do the yes, no, cancel, you can write a code in there for it to do a particular thing. If it's, a, if it's yes, then run this value. If no, then do something else. I'll do that on another tutorial. So now let's just run this again and see what it does. So now if I come here to Microsoft Bing, it now asks me a question. It says, do you want to open Microsoft Bing? And at that point, if you write a value for each one of these, it can do something. In this case, it's not going to do anything at all because I haven't wrote any values in there for it. So whether you cancel it or say yes or no, it's, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to bring you to the website. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. Please look for the next tutorial on uh, different ways to use Combo Box. I'm going to be putting a lot much more user forms and so forth in here that could be very helpful to you uh, for your job or just personal use. Thanks again for watching this uh, YouTube, um, YouTube tutorial video or just video because I might be posting this in other places. Uh, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe.